That's why I think you need a bad woman in charge at the White House. Nikki Haley is trying to break the highest glass ceiling in politics, but you won't hear her say so, at least not directly. And that's just fine with many of her admirers. I think we're past the point of talking about that. She's, she's the candidate, male or female, she's a strong candidate. Thalia Flores has a front row seat to the New Hampshire primary and to Haley's rise whether or not it's history making. I mean, it'd be great to have a female president, but that's not what it's about. As she courts all voters, Haley takes great care to walk a fine line, wielding gender as a humorous shield. I love all the attention, fellas. Thank you for that. <laughs> and a defensive sword. They're five inch heels, and I don't wear them unless you can run in them. Helene Hagar is blunt about her feelings that it's high time for a woman in the White House. It's time to get the testosterone out of the White House and put a woman in there, um, but a specific woman. Uh, not Kamala Harris, uh, but Nikki Haley. At campaign rallies, it's a sentiment echoing from Iowa. She's smart, she's tough, um, and she's passionate. To South Carolina. She is level-headed and speaks to the issues rather than a lot of rhetoric. Haley is on a quest to draw suburban women back to the Republican Party after so many fled during the era of Donald Trump. Her support among that key demographic is a leading reason she fares better in a hypothetical contest against President Biden, polls show, even as a strong majority of Republican women still back Trump. We know her as Crooked Hillary, but to Nikki Haley, she's her role model. Allies of Ron DeSantis are trying to compare Haley to Hillary Clinton in new TV ads that have been debunked as misleading. Haley is on the air with ads of her own, featuring her husband, a National Guardsman in uniform. American strength doesn't start wars, it prevents them. That's what I'll do as president. As the final chapter of the primary comes into view, Haley now rarely repeats a rallying cry from her announcement earlier this year. May the best woman win. She makes clear she's neither campaigning on gender politics nor identity, a balance voters like Erin Jorgensen take note of. Just because you're a woman doesn't mean I'm gonna vote for you. You have to be, you have to be the right person. And I'm just happy that maybe the right person is finally a woman. Whether talking about abortion. I don't think the fellas have known how to talk about it properly. Or the economy. It hasn't been an easy time for young families at all. Haley often infuses her answers with her life experience as a woman and a mother, which draws admiration from her crowds. She's my voice. She speaks for me. But Vicki Schwegler makes clear that's not why she intends to give Haley her vote. I would say it's time for the right resume. We're not looking at somebody, and we're not going to box anybody in because you're a woman, because you're a first-generation American. That's not who Republicans are. 